what's going on everybody so as you can see here i'm at the cemetery today on labor day decided to stop here because my wife wanted to visit um her cousin's grave and just looking over here it brings a sadness a level of sadness but also like a level of joy because as you look back here you see you see nothing but graves here right all these graves marks a person it marks a person who has already stood before the god that we talk about the god that we preach the god that we we pray to the scriptures we quote all that stuff they've had their judgment day and right now every single grave site that's here is someone who doesn't have a second chance no more Someone who can't say I'm sorry anymore. Someone who can't tell somebody I love you anymore. Someone who can't give a hug and show love no more. Bless, get involved, serve in church, serve the Lord, but touch someone's life, minister. Now, if they're in heaven, they're ministering to the Lord, you know, and praise and worshiping him. But as, as I seen all this, I'm like, that's it. One day, you and I will one day be buried there. One, one day, well, not necessarily this place, but one day we will all be here. One day there's going to be a funeral for you. One day people are going to cry there, wishing they could say sorry to you, wishing they could talk to you again. One day we're all going to lay in there forever. And it's, it's kind of crazy because it's like walking through here. It's like, man, one day, one day, I, one day I'll be, you know... I'll be in here one day, maybe my kids, maybe my family will one day bury me. So it's like, this is a place full, full of maybes of one day I'll do it. This place is full of one day, per us. all these people that are buried here, they thought one day, oh, tomorrow. And little did they know they had no tomorrow. Well, tomorrow I'm going to do this. Tomorrow I'm going to visit this person. Tomorrow I'm going to fix this with this person. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. And they didn't know. Look at all these graves here. All these people did not know they would have no tomorrow. Theirs came to an end. Everything they worked for, their job, everything, the overtime, for what? For what? That's why Solomon said, I, if there's one thing, he goes, that I see that's it's, it's vanity, that we labor and we do so much under this sun, and one day we'll just be gone. Everything we do, our material possessions, the houses, the family, all the stuff, the fame, the money, the attention, social media, none of that's gonna matter no more. No one's gonna run your social media page no more. No one's gonna hit like on your stuff no more. No one's gonna anything no more. It all ends here. So what am I saying with this video? Think about this, one day it's gonna be you. One day it'll be you buried back there. And that's it. All the legacy you leave behind. What did you really do that would last for eternity? What did you stand for that you could say, I could do this today instead of waiting for a tomorrow that may never come? This shouldn't bring sadness to you, but to say, you know what? Let me get right with Jesus today. Let me do what God has called me to do today. Let me be everything God has called me to be today. Let me say the sorries I need to say today. Let me fix things today. Because one day it'll be you here thinking that you had a tomorrow and there was no tomorrow. So think about that. Think about that. That's why this the Bible says that this outward man is perishing, but this internal man, the one that we live inside of, that we live in, all the things that we pray and preach, that's what really matters. That'll live forever. That will live forever. One day we're gonna stand before the judge, give an account for everything. What kind of accounts will you be giving? Think about that. Amen. It's about to rain out here. So I'm going to end this video here. But just I figure, you know, it's a perfect time to just share that. To send this video to somebody. Save it to somebody. Maybe this video doesn't apply to you. Maybe you're serving Christ, doing everything you're supposed to do. But maybe you're in, and you could send this to somebody who's not. Get right with Jesus. Get your life right with Jesus. And there's some people who even watch this video 
who desire to be dead already, who desire to be buried already. For what? You'll never get a chance to do this precious life that God has given us. There's some people upset and they complain about the life that they're living now. Oh, they don't have this. They don't have that. They're not what they should be. And they get sad and depressed. These people that you see buried back, they'd give anything to be in your shoes again. Just to breathe this fresh air again. <laughs> Enjoy food and drive their car and be in, lay in their bed one more time. So enjoy life. Be thankful for life. Because somebody does not have it no more. Many don't have it no more. So I was going to cut the video. But as I kept walking, look at this guy, 1990, 2023. He's about my age. So many recent ones. The one that really uh, <sighs> broke my heart. That that's fresh somebody who thought they had tomorrow next week next year new year's resolution look at this a corona put for this one young young man younger than me living my life to the fullest but you have a corona there you think that matters anymore you think that really matters you think that's living life to the fullest? And I don't mean no disrespect by anyone's graves whatsoever, but it's to make you think, look at this, it's just fresh. See, my son's here, he doesn't even know what's going on. Jamie, don't touch that. This is what life is. Life is but a vapor, nothing but a vapor. We don't know how many years we have. We all think we're gonna grow old. We really don't know. All right, look at all these tombs. Some look, these are the tombs of many. Some are answered the call on their life. This is also a field of many people who never answered God's call. So they were called home and they're gonna have to face God about all the missed calls and messages they never answered. So now I'll cut the video. Just think about that. Send that to somebody. God bless you.